What's going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here, bringing guys yet another video here today, bringing guys a Photoshop banner design tutorial on how to make a cool low poly abstract like crystallizing, don't know what my title is, video here today. It looks pretty freaking awesome, pretty like, it just looks so clean, however it's very active of course with like the really fun abstractness to it. If, if, can you say clean and abstract? I think you can. It just looks really good, very simple to do actually, and it's just very, it, it just looks really freaking dope, like I can't not do it, so of course, my original idea however was just making it like black with like a black CC, kind of like finding like a stock to do it, I found like this cool little website that does this kind of stuff, and I was like, I kind of want to do it myself, so uh, the original idea was like black, however I do like it with color, like I don't know which one do you guys think looks cooler, like I know I can make this look even probably cooler, however I will give you guys a CC like um, settings to do it in black if you guys want to and kind of like make it look all cool and stuff like that however the blue or whatever color you guys choose like the the, the color scheme of this with like a nice active color with a couple little hints of tints and like a uh, of like brushes and like color corrections it looks so freaking beautiful so of course i want to show you guys how to do it and of course two likes on the video equals a secret down below it will most likely be the psd of this video here today also thank you guys so much for 64,000 subscribers we're getting really close to 70k uh we're getting like 55 subscribers a day like i don't know where you guys are coming from but i'm very happy that i'm kind of getting that nice little like a uh, kick up of subscribers again so i appreciate you guys very very much if you're new if you're if you're like not new and you've been staying with me for like the past two years then you guys are absolute beasts all the new people are really cool and awesome as well like and also if you haven't subscribed to me yet and you're watching this video then you might as well subscribe to me because there's like really no reason not to and i just hit my keyboard out um so yeah, let's get this thing going. I don't know why I said ow either. Like what? Okay, let's just do this. All right. So of course, uh, basically, you're just be, you're gonna be making a couple triangles, right? Of course, as you can see. Uh, and then you're just really focusing on not doing the entire banner design. I will show you guys a nice little like I guess little hint to kind of complete it very more, like a lot more faster, not so tedious. However, the beginning is gonna be tedious for you guys. So of course, you're gonna be making triangles. At the end, you're gonna be making a, a nice little how would you call it? Like a nice little crystal group. I will gonna call it crystal group. Why not abstract crystal group? And then we're just gonna basically duplicate it around and then you're gonna figure out that it just looks really cool and they get this really nice glassy effect is very simple as well and I want to show you guys all this stuff uh, let's get let's go ahead and get going all right so the first thing I want to of course do is I'm starting off in a Twitter header dimension if you guys were wondering I'm in a Twitter header dimension of 3000 by it's actually 1000 at the moment and 250 resolution that way you guys know what resolution I'm in because the people who don't look they always just like you know what's the Twitter Okay, I don't really know why they always say it, but it's so ugh. You guys are ugh. okay. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a nice simple triangle, uh, close to the left. However, a little farther off, so I can put some more little triangles on this side, right? So I do have a color scheme here, a color palette for me to use. Uh, if you guys wanted to know, I'm gonna be using these four blues right here. So if you guys want to quickly go ahead and just copy down these hex codes, uh, you can do so. And that way you guys can use the same exact blues that I get and get the, pretty much the same exact look if you follow the tour exactly. And that way you kind of like follow by my footsteps and of course learn by that uh, standard as well. So I'm going to go ahead and make a simple triangle, right click, fill the path, drop down, use color. And I'm over here on my color picker. So I'm going to click this nice little blue here, the first one, and I'll press OK. And I'm going to go ahead and, and now this is the thing. You could use different layers. You could be in the same layer. However, in my example here, I use them all in the same layer. Now, you know I have a white background. So that is what these little white strips are you're seeing here is me messing up my pen tooling by one like mill of like little inch of pixel or whatever not inch like a millimeter pixel um so that is what this white is that is me because i have a white background right you can see it turning on and off so that was my mistake of not using multiple layers now if you guys don't care if you guys are really good you can use one single layer it doesn't really matter however what i'm going to end up doing is making single layers and then putting them into a group and then merging that group and then multi uh, duplicating and stuff and then saving that group as a backup so um that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm going to go ahead and just continue what i was doing right now and so, like I said, make a new layer, and we're going to keep on going. So I'm going to zoom pretty close in so I know where at least, like, the tip is, right? Then come over here, and we're just going to make a nice, another nice little triangle, just like so, right? Um, okay, now the second color of blue that I'm going to be using is just the second one. So I'm going to fill this in, color, a nice little blue one right here. And then, like I said, the beginning is very tedious, so you're going to be making new layers, in those new layers, you're gonna be making new triangles, and within those triangles, you're gonna be just making sure you, you're gonna be only be focusing on one group, right? So I'm gonna make sure I also get this right. Okay, so you're not gonna be filling the entire banner design like this. That would be incredibly harsh. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and keep going. 
now i'm going to show you a little bit right because I, I don't know if i'm going to speed this up or not because i don't know how long this is going to take um but i would say like maybe take like you know a good 15 minutes on like the kind of collaging the uh the triangles together and like the kind of way you want to um because you know realistically the, the more longer you take your time on it the better it would freaking look so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna say like my example that you guys saw previously looked like may maybe it took maybe like um let's be realistic here it took me maybe like 10 minutes so it wasn't too hard i didn't i didn't like really like uh try super hard to uh get these really cool groups that looked like just like it was just really random however it still looked really good because it's abstract right so you don't have to really be incredibly perfect um the weird thing about this triangle setup is this is going to be so close to this like purple so i have to make like another tone of blue uh otherwise it's going to look very weird so i'm gonna go ahead and just like do something like that maybe yeah so if you ever okay so i'm gonna have to like figure out another blue to use because the other blues that i have used i set my triangles up in a very weird way you'll, you'll find yourself in that position as well um basically i'll see like that's okay basically if you have your triangle set and they're like really close to another group of the same exact color so i'm gonna make another triangle right here for example right and this triangle i'm gonna make it that it's this color right here so i'm gonna right click fill this in I'm just going to use my simple little eye picker by just choosing that color right there, pressing OK. And that's the color I'm going to be using. Now, I know this is, that, this is not the same layer, is it? Oh, it's not. Okay. So I know that that color is really close. It's not that close to this color. However, if I did put this color right here as this one, it would just look very, very weird. It wouldn't give you that kind of like 3D look to it. And you'll like, you'll just get lost. And it's kind of, it's kind of like, I know it's tedious. You'll find yourself where you're going to get this really nice color, like scheme. Um, but you're going to end up like having a, you know, either do what I just did, like mix up the colors a little bit or make a new shade of blue that you uh, didn't have originally just because you want to make sure it looks as good as possible, right? So I'm going to fill this in and I'm going to use this color like all the way down here. That way it's not the same and all these other triangle colors are not close to each other. And yes, I know I'm seeing a little space of white. However, my background is white. If I just make it a different color, well then you can probably suggest I'm going to make another blue and that way it's pretty much going to be hidden and it's going to be not that big of a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep on going. Let's just use that one. So there we go, and I am making my way up to the top because we're gonna we're gonna have to do is we're gonna make like a slant going this way. That way we can basically duplicate our things over and like just rotate the uh, the uh, excuse me flip horizontal or flip vertically, and then just keep it going all the way through. So this is pre pretty much what I'm going for right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say, uh, let's just do this then. We'll do like a nice big one here, or we'll do a smaller one here, like a nice little skinnier one here, like a nice little skinny triangle, right? Make a new layer fill that in and then we're gonna go ahead and just choose like this blue maybe uh, I mean we could use purple maybe let's just see what it looks like if I use another purple mm, that's not terrible okay so we're gonna make another new layer and like I said it's probably a little bit too tedious for you to be watching so I'm gonna go ahead and like maybe speed this up just a little bit but as I said I'm gonna be uh, pretty much making it so that there's a triangle going straight diagonal as soon as I finish my little other little triangles and then we're gonna be good to go so uh, yeah Okay, so really quickly, I'm going to go ahead and just show you guys. I'm going to make this really big triangle going this way, right? That has that diagonal all the way at the top, just like so, because I'm going to be saying this is my split uh, section where I'm going to actually start duplicating stuff. So on this triangle, this is almost my last triangle. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and just continue this really quickly. I'm going to make this one purple, though, because I think that would work out pretty well. And as you can start to see, it, it looks really cool, really crystallizing. It's, gonna, it's getting to that point, right? So I'm going to make another triangle. I think I need just two more, and I'm pretty good and pretty set and good to go. Um... Uh, however, I do have like a little too many white. I was rushing a little too much. However, it still looks okay It still looks good enough for me to continue the example and I'm gonna say like that blue right there That looks pretty good and then f like basically this is not gonna be a triangle here However, it's gonna be fine It's gonna it's not gonna it's gonna be pretty invisible as well because like the first layer is just kind of like your base layer that you kind of just need and what color should I use by the way like maybe This one is this one good enough? Yeah, that's not terrible 
All right, cool. So now you have this little crystallized group on this right hand side or left hand side, excuse me. So I, like I said, I did that nice little simple di diagonal because what you're gonna do is you're gonna basically take all your layers that you've just done, control G to group them all together. Now, if you want to, you can control G them again, or excuse me, control J to duplicate them and then control E to merge it all together. You can make this like yellow and say, this is your backup. You know, I'm just gonna call it like, you know, B for backup or something like that. Hide it. And now I have this simple one layer group. And now what I'm gonna basically do is I'm gonna Alt Shift drag it right over because alt's gonna make a duplicate and then shift's gonna keep it on the same exact axis that i moved it on at the start and i'm gonna basically control t and we're gonna flip it vertically horizontally and then you're gonna see i'm gonna basically move this right over here just like so where it's like pretty much perfect just like so right and then what i want to do is i'm gonna control u because control u brings up the human situation for the actual layer and i put it in one single layer if this is in a group it would not work but since it is a layer if you press control u it brings up the human situation that's going to change the hue of the actual layer i'm going to change the hue just a little bit just enough to get this kind of like look because these are the same two colors that we started off with right the same color scheme however i just put my hue to like plus eight or i can go like negative if i want to um but plus eight looks pretty good or plus five or whatever it's just enough difference, but also just enough like having the same exact color scheme going on. That way, when I duplicate it again, I'm going to duplicate the bottom one because I know it's going to be the flat edge side, just like so. And then you're going to be able to find yourself, you know, I'm going to take all these three, group them together really quickly, and then it's going to merge them all together. If I want to, I'm just, I'm not going to go. I'm going to go ahead and just control shift or alt shift, excuse me. And then we're going to pretty much put them together like this. And there we go. Right, so now you kind of have that little, like, little crystallized group of it going on here. Now, if you kind of want to, I believe what you could go ahead and do is like, let's just see if we can get like a different angle. I mean, we really can't. Pretty much as good as it's, it's not that bad. So you kind of want to get rid of as much like straight lines like this. So if I wanted to, if I if I don't like this too much, I can go for a fourth one and kind of like try to get rid of so much. Like, let's say. Like, let's see, we'll put this one in the back of it, of everything. If I want to, right, and then kind of start going, I put this in the, not in the group. There we go. Put this in like the back of it just a little bit to kind of give it like a little bit of a difference and then like go for it and see what happens. Like, it all depends. Also, it also really depends on what your grouping looks like. Now, that's not too bad. That like kind of moves the, the seamless, not so seamless cuts move a little further out. However, you're not gonna be able to see these too, too much. Cause like I said, this is kind of like your back plate to it. So uh, it doesn't really kind of matter too much. However, like I said, you want to you know, you don't want to have as many, um, I guess cuts like these going through because it's kind of get it's gonna get very like annoying but however this is fine for me right now for the example and pretty much you're almost like you're pretty much done at this point however you kind of guess what i need to do now is a little bit of a cc work and a little bit of like uh just like a little thing so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make a new layer i'm gonna use a simple soft brush and i'm gonna basically simply click on my foreground color here and then select the like the lightest blue that i have okay and i'm just gonna click a couple times just like so around right give a little bit of light if you want to I, I would believe the change is to like linear dodge add and then lower the opacity down kind of fiddle with that a little bit now i want to just do one I'll, I'll do another set of color like just like a, another like a darker blue or something like that right and then like click around a little bit actually just make this dark blue like actually dark right and then we're going to click a couple more times just like so linear dodge add once again and it just kind of like brightens everything up, right? I'm just put that like 15%. So kind of like just fiddling with it a little bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a brightness and contrast, just like so, brightness and contrast. And I'm going to believe I'm going to go negative and positive uh, for the brightness is going negative, contrast is going positive. Kind of depends. I'm going to say that this does look pretty good though. Like I'll say 80 contrast and like, mm, let's just go with like negative 25 brightness for now right and I, what I'll do actually as well is put a nice little curve in a nice little s curve just like so yes this is looking good okay now last but not least what you're gonna have to do right follow me for a second is basically sh uh, shift click on everything just like so that way you uh, basically control click or whatever you want to do shift click control click basically select all the layers control J and then control E to merge correct now what this is gonna be like basically be doing is you're gonna find yourself with two same copies and one that's gonna be a nice little layer for you. But what you wanna do is you wanna go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and I'll say four pixels is pretty good. Press okay. 
and what I'm gonna say is to you just like kind of erase just a little bit right with a simple soft brush uh, eraser just kind of uh, just erase a couple spots just like so uh, not too much you don't really have to if you guys want to you can use the uh, masking like like uh, excuse me the masking eraser if you guys want to however the point is if you just kind of erase a little bit in like different spots what you want to do now is just press ctrl T right to free transform right click flip horizontal or flip vertical if you want to as well if you like this look however I did like it when it just was like this and it kind of gives it an, a completely different look and like I said it kind of does get rid of like your your weird seamless lines that were going through if you guys you know saw before so you can see the difference right it, it kind of looks merry like is that a word merry no it kind of looks mirrored right and it also just looks really good overall and if you guys want to like complete it a little bit better uh depends on what you guys want to do like I don't like this sometimes but sometimes I do you can put a nice little white uh focus light right on the top call it a day and then you would add your text and be like, yo, this is the best banner tutorial ever. And I'd be like, oh, you guys are so nice. Uh, tutorial. Just like so. And then we're just going to make this one like uh, next to light or something like that. Right? And then overall, the entire concept is basically up to you at this point. However, getting this nice, really cool abstract feel to it. It, it looks really dope and you can't like not say it does not look super pretty so of course I want to show you guys how to do this like I said it was very simple very cool if you guys want to uh, you probably use other color skins that I have here as well up here that work pretty freaking well um I'll just show you guys in a second let's just group all this together and that way I'm just gonna flip these other colors that you guys can try to choose from like this is a nice little purple color scheme if you guys want to I've tried it previously so that's how I already know it works like these three purples and if you guys need to just like kind of move around the hue to uh, basically switch it up a little bit if you need more purples of course and then for the green side we have like these right here just like so and this one right here this blue I did also use for this green color scheme because it looked pretty good so uh, those are just a little more colors you guys want to use and pretty much that's basically it I, I know it looks good I know you guys are gonna love it and I like using all that cool stuff but I did have um the black right so the black I do have over here excuse me right here this is the black color correction just like so um pretty much what I did for this one is I use all my same like of course you're probably gonna have to tone it just a little bit of course but however I'll go through it really quickly with you it's human saturation of course you want to lower your lightness to a negative just to make it a little more darker because of course if you're le you leave your lightness up here with all the color correction that we did for the previous colored uh version of it it's not gonna look very good so you have to lower your lightness as well as lower your saturation all the way down to negative 100 because if not of course you're still gonna have blue and if you go positive it's just gonna look very weird right that's human saturation first and then I had exposure I put my offset to like a like a negative one uh, zero excuse me negative point zero one four five and then my gamma correction I put it up because of course you're gonna find yourself again in this predicament we're gonna be like you know I don't know why but it's still like super light so of course change your gamma correction a little bit going uh, up and then for your curve here another simple s curve which is actually pretty big as well it, it kind of like will tone everything down just as much and then last but not least brightness and contrast brightness going up and your contrast going up because if you're gonna find yourself uh your your i guess your crystals or whatever your abstract shapes are going to be like kind of faded in this really deep black so if you want to bring it back out that's the brightness and contrast for you guys now you can have to fiddle with that of course to get the right like i guess lighting i guess you would say right because i also do have this one example right here where I did it pretty well, right? See this, looks pretty good. So that's kind of what I did here. So that's just another version of it if you guys want to. And of course the CC is of course tweaked. Um, so yeah, that's basically the tutorial for today. And I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to leave a like, turn likes on the video, equals a secret down below. Do not forget to follow me on Twitter at SysawayHQ. Do not forget to follow my selfie, selfie.com slash SysawayHQ for any premiums and packs as low as $3. And of course, if you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe and leave me any little things you want to see me do. Like you can tweet them at me as well. I see it all the time. Be like, hey, I kind of have a tutorial idea. Can you like show me how to do this? I love those things. Of course, it gives me inspiration and I really look forward to helping you guys out. So I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. So SysawayHQ out peace keep smiling stay positive and stay freaking productive guys later